Good morning to the preteens and happy Palm Sunday. Um, I'm going to link the worksheets like I did last week for you guys. So if you go down in the description and follow that, you can either follow along on your computer or print it out. It's up to you. Uh, some of the activities look strikingly similar to last week's, uh, but there are some different things in there. So uh, I encourage you to look at that. It has some guiding questions and things that you can do uh, for discussion at home. <clears throat> so we're continuing the discussion about Lazarus. Remember last week we talked about Lazarus and how uh, he became ill and, and passed away while Jesus was away. Um, and he waited a couple of days to go back and, and, uh, and see him. Uh, which made Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha, very upset. Um, but we saw Jesus visibly upset too. Um, and then amazingly, four days after Lazarus died and was sealed in a tomb, he was resurrected by Jesus um, in an amazing miracle. So there's another verse that we're going to use to explore that a little bit. So remember that John 11 verses 1 through 45 is a story of Lazarus. So go ahead and look at that again. And then I'm going to read you from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 to 58. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. We will not all die, but we will all be transformed. It will happen in a moment, in the blink of an eye, when the last trumpet is blown. For when the trumpet sounds, those who have died will be raised to live forever. And we who are living will also be transformed. For our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Our immortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Then, when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, then scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? For sin is the sting that results in death, and the law gives sin its power. But thank God, he gives us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. So in our guide this week, we kind of explore what that means in the setting of the story of Lazarus. So in your discussion with your family, think about how that passage helps to explore Lazarus. He's talking about death and uh, mortal bodies versus immortal bodies. Um, how does that relate to the story of Lazarus uh, and the miracle that Jesus performed there? Um, what does it say will happen one day? Um, how will we be transformed? You know, how will we be changed? And most importantly for us, and learning how to be good disciples is what can we do until then. We don't just want to sit around and wait for the day where Jesus comes because we don't know the day or time when that's going to happen. Nobody does. So it's best if we continue to prepare like it's going to be tomorrow because tomorrow's not guaranteed. Some other questions and then I will finish up the video. Think about how you might be like Mar Mary or Martha or even Lazarus um, and can you think of situations in our lives where maybe something that you were expecting or hoping would happen didn't uh, because somebody else had a better plan you know Mary and Martha were hopeful that Jesus would come and just heal Lazarus before he died but he didn't he had a better plan he was going to reveal something to the people there um, so maybe think about a situation in your life that might have been similar. Uh, and think about what in, might be inspiring or encouraging in that 1 Corinthians passage. Um, you know, was there a response in your heart when you, when you read it or heard it? Uh, so anyway, I'm looking forward to uh, continuing our journey together. 
I'm hoping that obviously we can get together soon. I miss you guys. But, uh, you know, until then, you guys keep reading, keep praying, um, and uh, keep loving one another, most importantly. So we love you guys, we miss you guys, and we're praying for you all the time. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.